Hey guys, this is Chit and welcome to Destiny Chit Chat. So today I want to talk about a few of the exotics coming in the April update as their year 2 counterparts. If you don't know which ones they are, check this out. Some of them were originally not that great and therefore not used very often. The Glass House is a prime example of a great Titan Helm that stands in the huge shadow of something like the Helm of Saint-14. Bungie has already made some great changes to old exotics that people are using now. Young Ahamkara Spines and No Backup Plans are amazing examples of this. With Ahamkara Spines allowing for an extra trip mine grenade and No Backup Plans allowing to get your shield upon a shotgun kill. So. Here are some suggestions slash predictions on how some of these exotics could be useful if these changes were made. The Glass House. For those who don't remember, this increases the effects of Blessing of Light and the Illuminated from 10 seconds to 15 seconds. The problem with this exotic is that people can just refresh the buff by going in and out of the bubble. It does allow for one to travel really far away from the bubble during PvP, such as if you have weapons of light and you need to chase someone, but it's still not very practical. My suggestion is that not just increase the duration, but the actual strength of the buff. Maybe something like a 10% increase. Maybe that's too much, but it's just a suggestion. Eternal Warrior. This is the helm that allows a Titan to have Unstoppable for free. That way they can have Shoulder Charge or Juggernaut on the house. And it's also one of the creepiest looking helms in the game. I'm really not quite sure exactly how this should be changed, but I think something like providing Headstrong, which Helm of Inmost Light already does, would be something very useful. Feedback Fence. I was really excited when these were released back in the House of Wolves because I felt like these were the equivalent of the Hunter's Don't Touch Me gauntlets in Titan form. And they were a lot of fun to use, but they just weren't that strong enough. So that is my suggestion for this exotic, is that they somehow increase the damage for that pulse of energy that comes out. In case you don't remember, when you are hit wearing these, it releases a wave of damage outwards. The ATS-8 Arachnid. Now Bungie did a big trailer during Dark Below last year. Do you guys remember that trailer? Here's a clip. And check out this helmet, pure and chromium. Zerchromium, whatever, it ends in EM, it really doesn't matter. Just look me in the eyes and tell me this is not awesome. Sorry, but it's really not. They were really raving on about this helmet when it was finally released and people found out what it did, which was add zoom during your golden gun. Uh, it was underwhelming to say the least. Almost no one really used it because not many people are using Golden Gun across the map, it's just not that practical. So my suggestion is that it could provide something like combustion along with the range increase. I think that could be very useful. So what do you guys think? You think any of these changes could be something to look forward to? Do you have any suggested changes for any of the other exotics that you felt were just a little bit underwhelming? Leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message. You want it? Huh? Get it good. Meow!